with OpenCV and face recognition with processing. Uh, and so here's the here's the process, no pun intended, is uh, you're gonna go to bring up processing, go to tools, go to add tool, and you're gonna go to libraries, and you could do, a, you know, just put in open in the uh, search bar that's up in the top here, just so you see if you came in like this, you can just put open, and uh, this is the one right here, open CV for processing. I've already installed it, so there's a little green checkbox. You would hit install. I already have it, so I'm not going to hit that. Um, and if there are any updates, you can always do that as well. And it only takes a, a minute or so, and I, um, I don't even think you need to restart processing. I think you can use it right away. Uh, anyway, once that's installed, there's some code that I'll share with you for doing a very simple um, very simple face recognition, uh, simple code to just demonstrate uh, the capabilities. And so um, the three uh, imports you need are right here, uh, the key one being the OpenCV. Uh, I should mention you will have to have already imported the video library as well. Um, if you haven't, you are going to want to go back to the libraries here under um, the tool and just do put video in here and this is the one you're going to want the video G streamer based video library for processing just install that and that should be good um, this is just the Java AWT which is a graphics uh, import that one you don't need to add it's automatic because it's uh, just through Java um, so just the OpenCV and the video libraries that you need and then you create an object for um, your capture, which is um, under the video library that you get this capture object. And then for OpenCV, we're going to create an object for that as well. And in our setup, um, I'm just doing 640 by 480. The size here is not real important, but um, I do recommend whatever you make this for these next two lines, make these half of it. And this is for the processing to happen, the face recognition image processing video slash image processing to happen faster. So I actually make this half of this and then I uh, later on I scale it up here. So anyway, um, you need this video object. We're gonna create a, um, just initialize an object there with the uh, size, same thing for the open CV. Uh, and then we're going to, at, with the open CV object, we're gonna say, what do we want to take in? Um, and actually, this is going to, I'm going to change this to, um, here is this library. I'll keep, I'll have a link to this, but we want to do the um, front face, frontal face. So we're actually going to change that. I've just shown you, you can do uh, nose, eyes, ears, all that stuff. Um, so we're going to, we're going to look at just faces though and we're going to start our video and then in the draw we're going to um, load the so you know we're basically capturing video and then we're sending it to OpenCV for so it so can process it and do um, the facial recognition that we wanted to do that we're um, asking it to do here um, and here we're just um, displaying our uh, video to the screen that's all that's doing and then uh, I got this stroke and this uh, weight that's going to be um, used with this rectangle because we're going to draw rectangles around all the faces that we found so this right here is an object of rectangles that we um, whatever faces that the uh, OpenCV has detected we're going to save that to this rectangle object it may, depending on how many you have in your screen, if it's just you, it'll probably just save one. Um, but we'll run through and see all the ones that it saved. And we're going to just uh, simply um, draw a rectangle around that. Just so you know, this uh, capture event is needed um, for the, uh, um, the video processing with OpenCV. You just need to have this helper function. Um, so I'll you know, include this in the code, of course. But let's go, let's take a look. So I'm gonna run this code and you'll see how it will draw a green line around my face. 
green rectangle, that sh I should say. There we go. Hey. And if I have a second one, like my you know, picture of Brad Pitt here, you can see it grabs him and sees him as well. And so as soon as he comes on, we get that. And so as many faces as you had in the screen, it would detect it. So this is very simple. Um, I will have future tutorials that will show you things you can build upon this to um, use the power of this library. I hope you enjoyed that, though, and uh, see you soon. New video.